fallacies of the fact that people think. Yeah, I really want to help you remove the fallacies or whatever you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. You know, like to smoke weed and get high, they think that's good. Police right here, you still here in O Block. Like they get a bad rap here in O Block. It's a lot of good people in this O Block. I, love who I, I don't look at this O Block because Islam is on the planet Earth. Never turn your head and look down on people who weren't blessed to you know have the opportunities that you had. And our salams to the brothers here in O Block. You know we rip right, so we gotta find some bars in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to O Block. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hello, Ripper Hadith, the type of YouTubers and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. We're here with the brother Sadiq. Alhamdulillah. Um, born and raised here. Born and raised. We're in Chicago, O Block. So we just want to kind of give um, the outlook of the Muslim living in O Block or living in Chicago in the outskirts in the in the in the urban areas and see what's the difference between Brooklyn um Chi Town the difference between Maryland and Philly are you safe as a as a regular person walking around daily or are you more safe as a Muslim so right now we're going to enter O Block see some of the brothers from that we got one of the brothers that's still recently now living in O Block and we're going to see um how how it goes inshallah let me get the window rolled up Jazakallah khay. Alright, so as you can see, we out here, alhamdulillah, we got a lot of the Muslims. Alhamdulillah, and from my understanding, man, as a Muslim here, anywhere you go in the world, I don't care what's going on around you for whatever reason, especially in the urban areas, alhamdulillah. Not I ain't going right here. Like, <laughs> USA for the most part as a Muslim you say because we already know what's going on in Gaza mm -hmm. and in Congo yeah, and Sudan and necklace, places like that and we ask that Allah aids the Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you got it all? You still got it? Say two. Okay. <laughs> so we was trying to actually get inside of O Block with the vehicles but we was having an issue. So now we started right here so all visitors must have a valid photo ID so all the brothers are stopping and we going to um get inside they got securities uh out in the front obviously with guns and things like that we're gonna have Sadiq Abdul Jalil and a couple other brothers that live out here kind of give us the rundown as a Muslim living in Chi-Town inshallah yeah so everybody finished giving they ID in Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And um, we in O Block. Welcome to O Block. All right, so quick, uh, Sadiq, you said how old are you? Me? 40. 40, and you've been here your whole life? I've been in Chicago so, my whole life. I lived in, I lived, I lived here in O Block about seven, seven years, I want to say. Seven years. Yeah. And you've seen some of this, the severest things here, you can say. Oh, man, I've seen a lot of it here. Yeah, were you ever gangbanging? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a yeah, gangbanger. I'm good <laughs> so, now as a Muslim, what's, what, what is the difference? It's a big difference as a Muslim, man. You see clear, you think clear, you know what I mean? Um, when we come back over here to places like this and bring the dean in here, and then this is what's needed. It's really what's missing for the whole, for the for our whole community, you know what I mean? Once we grab hold of something that's good, then we're going to love it. A lot of people, you know, like to smoke weed and get high, they think that's good. But when they get a hold of this dean, and drink this, then it's a whole nother high, a high that they never even seen. So that's why it's, it's spreading like this. You got the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole compound of uh, O Block that took Shahada. You know what I mean? We got, Allah, little, Allah. We got brothers is, like this, like this is Gleesh. Gleesh right here, you know what I mean? He, he, he right here still here in O Block. He still lives here, you know what I mean? But he on his dean, and you just hear what he just said, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. You know what I mean? That's coming from a brother that was born and raised right here in this, you know, so. Allah is definitely making it, making it easy for us, and you know what I mean? We doing this from our own. Ain't nobody guiding us to do this. They doing this off the heart, from the strength. Allah choose Muslims. So as, as we spoke of earlier, right, right, we, we, have, we have a few people here, right? Jersey. Oh, yeah, we got New York, big shake with New us. York City. Allah. We have a brother that lived in Chicago, right? Let's Still lives in way. Chicago now. And, and then also, 
Yeah, and then do. also the brother has uh, lived in New York. Then we got uh, the Muslim boxer, Alhamdulillah, 12 and 0. He also lived in Maryland, born and raised, I believe, and now he's in Philly. So what what is the difference? We're gonna ask the Muslim boxer from Philly to Maryland when it comes to the Muslims, when it comes to surviving as a as a you know a believer in a place where there's a lot of shooting, there's a lot of killing, there's a lot of Fawahish going on. How does that work? Bismillah. I think most of the time you find, you know, especially coming in the hood and I think, you know, there's a certain commonality when it comes to the hood. Everybody just trying to survive at the time. So a lot of people do what they need to do in order to eat, in order to feed their family. So, you know, no matter what hood you go to, it's, it's kind of a universal connection with, with the struggle. As far as being Muslim, you know, you have the brothers that get out, change their lives and, and, you know, just move on. But then you have some brothers who are still connected to the hood and connected to the, you know, the, the gangs and everything else. But, you know, they just trying to do their best and especially with their mentor to the other communities and everybody else. So, I mean, you, you kind of don't like it, but you got to appreciate it because this is where you come from. These are your people and you always got to represent for the black people. So, you can never turn your head and 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 and, and buy your, and 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 look down on people who weren't blessed to you know have the opportunities that you had. Iowa, just like Lachai. Yo, so you mind speak English? Yes, the brother right here. Alhamdulillah. How how long ago you accepted Islam, or was it your? You can hold the mic up. But it's been like probably two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Well, alhamdulillah, right? And he still lives in Old Black. So explain to us as a Muslim in. Like old block, are you safe? You can put the mic to you. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, think uh, on Yeah, <laughs> are you safe? How how is it is to be a Muslim accepting Islam? Like, how does it work? Mm. If 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 there's like people from other hoods, and they're Muslim, is it still going to be an issue? Is it a ceasefire? Um, we don't care if you're Muslim and you're from old block. You know, you... as a Muslim, you know you should want with your brother for you want for yourself. I'll never do nothing like that. Way, you know. I don't even influence none of that stuff. Like, you know, a Muslim is a Muslim, so, you know, I got to respect everything about that. There's no way around it. Ayo, alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So, I would never, you, you, and I wouldn't even let nobody even put another brother of a Muslim in harm. Mm. Alhamdulillah. So, how would you say from two and a half years ago until now, when it comes to, like, the violence here, like, has it changed? Has yeah, it's changed, it's changed. Slowed down changed, a bit? But like, it's not even here, it's there, but it's just the regular stuff that happens. Regular stuff every day. <laughs> this ain't just here, no, no particulars, everywhere. Allahu Akbar. Right, so we're trying to remove the fallacies of the fact that people think... Yeah, I really want to help you remove the fallacies or whatever you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. Because they be incriminating us, all type of stuff, and that ain't no good look. Like, it ain't no good look. People got families, people got all type of stuff they got to worry about. Like, you incriminating somebody or seeing this or making this look like that people putting people like this and exactly really be like that that's bad you exactly that. so people are, are, are under uh, understanding that as soon as they come to brooklyn or as soon as they come to jersey or as soon as they come to chicago and they walk and they could just get shot just stabbed robbed they, they that could happen anywhere exactly well, so philly we, london and, uh, <laughs> Ex Texas? Exactly. Uh, so you 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 not condoning the the uh, the way they painted Chicago or the way they painted O Block? No, this is this is the regular this the regular stuff. stuff. Like it's the people. It's like life. In general, alhamdulillah. It's life. Let's talk to our brother. Come on, Abdul Jalil. <laughs> no, no, Iowa. We need the shit. He has lived what? Chicago uh, and right, also New York. Right yes, I lived in Harlem and in, in, in abroad. Can you hold the mic up a little close? Yeah. And what, and what would you say the difference from Harlem to Chicago? It's it's a big difference. It's a big difference, but you know, like geographical wise, it's different. But otherwise, other than that, man, same thing. It's the same thing. Everywhere go to, you go, everybody get in. You got different people, different states. It's different lingo. You know, the slang is different, but the attitude is still the same. Everybody do the same thing. You know, and it's, it's, it's basically, like like the brother said, everywhere you go, but like they get a bad rap here in this in the old block, and it's a lot of good people in this old block. Allahu man. Akbar. And it's Muslims Allah. in here. It's a lot of good brothers in here. They get a bad rap, and it's sad how they got them caged in like this, but it's good people here, man. It's good people, and you wouldn't know it if you're not from here or if you're not, if you haven't 
been here and rotated here. So you have to come here and get to know the brothers before you can just stigmatize them and point them, point them out like like they goons and villains. There's goons everywhere. I, uh, you know? Yeah, like, well, for sure, like, I ain't, like, you feel me? Like, for sure, like, what he said in the shoot, like, right now, I'm at a stage where I've got, I got trying to make a, this business I got going, like, bigger than what it is. I, uh, so I can even help the Muslims, like, you see what I'm saying? I'm the love. So, it's just, like, yeah, it ain't, we don't know, I don't, it's people, it's the way people paint the picture on us, like, you know? We, we probably need, you know, a check up on, a little pat on the back or a help, you feel me? So, but you know, everybody manages to do it themselves anyways and just make it happen, you feel me? So, I'll always so. Alhamdulillah. Appreciate you, Gleesh. Let's talk to the Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. The Sheikh is from New Jersey. Yes. You know? yeah. Born and raised or? Well, actually, I was uh, raised in New Jersey and New York, uh, but uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm really connected to my brothers out here in Chicago. And I commend the great work of uh, Amir uh, Sadiq. And uh, when I come to O Block, you know, I just see my brothers. You know, I don't, I don't look at it as O Block because Islam is on the planet Earth, Iowa. and this is just an opportunity for us to reach out to our brothers. You know, and uh, you know, and, and actually bond with them. You know, and like like the brother said, uh, Abdul Jalil said, you know, we got to stop looking at people based on geography and other uh, litigating conditions that they may face and look at them as Muslims, you see, and uh, and that's how we have to be as Muslims. And I think that O-Block is sending a strong message out that Muslims are everywhere <coughs> and that, you know, they can return the same love that we give them, but we got to show that love, we got to show that support, and we got to consider their efforts and understand the hardship they went through and the obstacles and the hurdles they have to overcome. When that luxury is not given to them, but we can appreciate that and we still stigmatize them. So I get nothing but love when I come here. I don't need to come here with an entourage because when I come in, they, they show me love. Allah you know Akbar. Allah. You're safe. Yeah, I'm safe, That's, yes. that's, I, that's I, I the feel, point we're trying to... That's I feel the, it's safer in Old Block than I do anywhere else in, Allah in, in, Akbar. in New York because I got brothers here. And like the brother mentioned, you know, Muslim blood is sacred. So I wherever am. you are as a Muslim, we're going to respect that. Regardless where you was affiliated with this organization or that, that crew, when you say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, your blood is sacred. We honor that. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so we, we, we're not going to drag this on. The the point of the fact of the matter is Brooklyn is Brooklyn. Uh, Jersey is Jersey. Uh, Chicago is Chicago. Everywhere where there's Muslims, you're going to be safe. Inshallah ta'ala, we know what's going on. We mentioned in Gaza and Congo and all the places in the world where the Muslims are unfortunately not safe. But we're talking about in the USA in particular. As a Muslim, you can carry about your daily lives no matter what's going on around you. You would hear about somebody, uh, 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 a non-Muslim, you, hey, you know, being hit by a stray before you hear a Muslim. Why? Because during the time of Dhuhr, he's at the masjid. Mm. During the time of Asr, usually at the time when things are going down, the Muslim is praying. So we, we, for the most part, we're always safe and we just want to send our salams to the brothers here in O Block. And we want to remove the stigma of that. And you know we rip right, so we got to find some bars in Chicago <laughs> and make sure we do a couple of muscle ups. Inshallah <laughs> ta'ala. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay ripped. Six pack, big back, big facts. And I'm out of here. So you're lying already. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh. <laughs>